What's up, you guys? Vinny Matt here with a well, ugly start. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Vinny Matt here with another um how to install um Minecraft mod, and this one is how to install Forge and how to install Doggy Talents. Now, there's two things you're gonna need: Doggy Talents mod and Minecraft Forge. Here's first of all, you're gonna want to go to MinecraftForge.net, and you're gonna want to press releases, and you're gonna want to download the and then and then you're gonna. Blah. And then you're gonna press the first, the Forge 9.11.1 Minecraft 6.4, 6. 1.6.4. Uh. And then you're gonna want to do installer, and you want to press direct. If you do universe or whatever, it is, it just ain't gonna work. Just press installer and press direct. It's just easier. Once you have installed it, it's only like it's not that big. So once you have seen, once you have done that, um, you're gonna wanna um go to the Minecraft forums, and you're gonna wanna look up Doggy Talents. The link for that will also be in the description for that as well. And, um, when you look up Doggy Talents, um, which will show up in a second, you're just gonna click it, and you're gonna press download, and then I'll, t um, teach you how to actually install the forge. So, um, Doggy Talents, uh, you're just gonna find it, I'm actually gonna give you in the description below. Um, actually, it's better just... Just go here and search up Doggy Talents and it'll automatically search on YouTube. I mean, on Google. Doggy Talents. Search up here on the top. And uh, you'll find Doggy Talents eventually. And uh, make sure. It isn't this one, so. Uh, just make sure. Just, if you want, just go to video and all that. So once you, fi once you download both of them, you don't need your internet browser anymore. So you're gonna have the Doggy Talents 1.6.2 or whatever version, and you're also gonna have Minecraft Forge install it. You're gonna want to double click Minecraft Forge, and it should open up like this. And make sure this is right. Users whatever app data for sale roaming dot Minecraft. Um. So once you press, so make sure it's install client, and then you're gonna press OK. Once you once it finishes installing and uh, all that, it'll say it has successfully installed. I already did it, so I'm just showing you very quickly. You wanna go to percent app data percent. Then you're gonna wanna go to dot Minecraft versions, and over here will be Minecraft 1.6.4 Forge. You're gonna want to open that up, and you want to copy both of these, both of these. So, um, oops, that's wrong button. And you're gonna want to copy it. And you cop once you copy it, you're gonna want to open up. You're gonna want to make a folder called mods, mod mods, uh, whatever. Just make a folder, somewhat similar to mods, and you're gonna want to name every, and then you're gonna paste the thing. You want to make everything the same. Name as your folder name. And this is very important. Like it's the same thing with the TMI mod, like I did. You have to have everything the same. If not, it's not gonna work. So once you do that, you're gonna want. Okay, you don't really need to do the jar file, but the JSON the JSON file. You're gonna want to open it with Notepad or Notepad plus plus or whatever you have. You want to open it. If you don't know how to open it, you just want to. Um, click it, it's like, you just want to, uh, right click it. If it doesn't say open with, then you, and it just says open, just press open. And then you want to press the bottom, open file, use the software which already installed. And then, uh, you can choose notepad or whatever you have. So, once you do that, you want, okay, we're not going to mess with anything but one thing. You want to scroll down to the bottom. When it says ID down here, right here, it's going to say something else. Change it to mods or or whatever the folder name is, whatever the whatever you name the JSON file, whatever you have to change it to that the exact same thing. 
then you want to press save once you change it. You can exit it out, and then you can exit out this. Now you want to open up your Minecraft. And it should take a little while to load, depending how fast your computer is. Well, my computer is medium fast, so it's not the fastest thing, but it's okay fast. I, I like it fa this fast. So then, it's going to be loading the profiles. You're going to want to, once it's loaded, you want to press new profile, and you want to make the profile, and you want to call it Forge Mods, or whatever you want. I just call mine Forge Mods. There's going to be Forge. You don't need that. You just need to forge mods. So once you do that, once you make it, you're going to want to press edit profile. And when it says use version, you want to change it. It's going to be like 1.7.4 or something like that. You want to go all the way to the bottom and press release mods or whatever the folder name was. So you want to look for that. Now this one, you don't need to do it. So you just want to open that and then you want to press save profile. As you see over here, you'll see ready to play Minecraft mods. And then, it will load, and then it will load up all the, um, Minecraft Forge and all that. So, um, yeah, it will be loading up, it will take a little while. And then, um, you should see a great daylight coming out soon. Um, so you should be doing great daylight. And, um, so yeah, as you see, mods is already there. Minecraft Forge, perfect. You can close it out, make sure all the mods are there, perfect, everything's fine. Then you can close it out. Now, this is very important that you listen, because I screwed this up, and I had no idea why, um, how I did this and all that. I was like, all confused, and I was so frustrated. So, what you want to do, you want to go again to percent at data percent. Go to your dot Minecraft folder, and you want to go to mods. Now, now there will be a mods folder. Now, before there wasn't. Now there is. So you want to open it. You, if you go to version to mods, and it's not gonna work. You gotta look for the mods file, which should be in between logs and resource paths. Once you do that, you're gonna want to drag your doggy talents mod or whatever mod, oh, your doggy talents mod, and boom, boom, right, voila, right there. Look at that. And then you want to open up your Minecraft. You can close that. And should load a little bit just because um it should take a little longer. Now if you get a black screen, you screwed it up, just try it again. Um if you keep failing, um just um leave it in the comments. I'll try to fix it as soon as possible. It might be something wrong with the mod or something like that. So it should take a little longer to load just because it's a mod. And um you should get the green daylights once you see um Mohang like this and then and Mojang, whatever. And then, if you look over here, before there's three mods, if it says four mods loaded, then you have the green daylight, you can double check it, Doggy Talents mod, voila, right there. That's how you install Doggy Talents mod. Thank you everyone for watching. I was in Forge mod, in Minecraft Forge. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And by the way, Happy New Year. Thank you, Minecraft, for reminding me because I would totally forgot. Happy New Year, and hope you guys have a great 2014.